Bright and early, we are up and ready to hit the road. The RV is all packed and ready to go. Now it's pretty much just time to get the family down here and I'm in the RV and we'll hit the road. Welcome back to today's video. Today is night number one of our road trip to the Hockett. We are currently here in Southern Oregon and we're gonna be traveling all the way to Wheatland, Missouri, a 29 hour drive to run at the Lucas Oil Speedway for the three night event, the Jesse Hockett Daniel McMillan Memorial for $10,000 to win in the 360. I'm so excited to get this trip started. I've heard so many good things about the Speedway that we're going to. I heard the racetrack races really, really well. It's a top-notch facility, one of the nicest in the country. And so many race fans are in the area. So we're going to get today's vlog started. I'm um, hopefully you guys enjoy riding along with us. If you saw my vlog from earlier this year when we traveled back for ASCS Sprint Week, this vlog is going to be kind of similar because we're going to be on a similar route. The only difference is we're getting an earlier start. So I'm pretty sure by the end of today, we should be able to get into the beginning of Wyoming and kind of close to that halfway point to where we need to be because it's Tuesday today when I'm filming this. We're going to also travel there and hopefully get there by tomorrow night. Like I said, though, it is about time to get the road trip started RV is ready to go and I will tell you one thing I am NOT gonna miss the smoke in the air at all it'll be awesome to kind of get in some fresh air and out of uh, what we've kind of been experiencing here on the West Coast all right dad a long drive ahead of us you ready yep should be fun. We'll be there at uh, we'll be there at uh, about 5:30 tomorrow afternoon. Gotcha. Maybe six. Everything looks good. All tied down and ready for the long trip ahead of us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, for you guys watching, if you guys really wanna get the best look at our trip, follow along for all of our vlogs as well as on our social media. My Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of it will be linked in the description below. We're gonna be posting tons of fun stuff on there too. Back is also locked. For any of you guys wondering, uh, we are going to be heading out Eastern Oregon and then down through Winnemucca. Last time we made the trip out east, we actually went down I-5, which is like, you know, the exits right here. And then we cut in through Nevada, went through Susanville, and then down through Reno. So a little bit of a different route this time. We've taken both just between our trips to North Carolina or wherever we're headed. So uh, hopefully it's a smooth travel and we're going to hit the road. And just like that, we have pulled off of our hill and we are officially on the road. It is 7.19 in the morning, so I thought it'd be fun on this trip to kind of keep track of time. So we are on the road at 7.19 and now kind of as the day goes on, I'm gonna kind of give you guys checkpoints on where we're at and what time it is. With my dad driving, he usually goes pretty fast, so I don't think we're gonna be behind schedule at all. just got into Nevada about 10 minutes ago. This has been about the first thing we've really had to look forward to on the drive, getting out of Oregon. And also, like I said, we got out of the smoke. So that's really, really nice. And as we get farther east, it's only gonna get better. Well, we made our first stop. As you can see, we are in a very large town here. There is nothing where we are at right now. Carly did point out though over here, there might be a few donkeys. There are the donkeys right there. This though is the little stop of where we're at. So it looks like a nice place to stop, maybe refuel. Uh, on the sign it said cold beer, snacks, ice. So a nice little hidden gem that we kind of found here on our travel through Northern Nevada. Well, we just got on I-80. We went through downtown Winnemucca, which is a little town in Nevada with about 7,000 people. Uh, my mom said it's like a cowboy town, I guess. So that's an interesting fact, but we're on Interstate 80, which now we will be on for a while, and we're gonna get through Nevada, and then we will be into Utah. It 
is 546 right now. And check this out, the Bonneville Salt Flats. So we just got into Utah a little bit ago. Some of the previous times when I've came through here, we've stopped at the Bonneville Salt Flats. I probably have a few of them uploaded on the YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description below. If you guys have never been to the Bonneville Salt Flats, it's a pretty neat place to see. Just you can go out there, walk out on them, and check out where some of the land speed records have been set. It's 11.04, 11.05 now. Gonna check in on the trailer here. Everything looks good. Still tied down and in the back of the trailer. Yeah. How's everything look? Good. Long day. Oh, we're almost there. You're still digging. Hey, 14 hours. Doing good. 14 hours. Doing good. Uh, now we're just kind of trying to decide what to do if we should try to go a little bit more or we should just stay here for the night because this is a pretty nice truck stop if you've ever been to the little america there's nice places to park as far as today's vlog though it is going to come to an end it's getting late i think i'm going to try and go get some sleep so i'm well rested up for tomorrow even though tomorrow is not race day i really want to try to get some good sleep even the day before so i just get in a good ri little rhythm before we get to the hot kit. I tried to make today's travel vlog as interesting as possible. Uh, Eastern Oregon, Northern Nevada, the little part of Utah we went to, and now Wyoming, it's not a very exciting drive. We don't go through any real big cities or see anything cool. It's just a lot of desert and a lot of the middle of nowhere. And that's probably not gonna change too much in the morning getting in Nebraska, but it will be cool to get into Missouri. I think I've only spent just a little bit of time in that state, mainly traveling. So it'll be cool to see the little town of Wheatland tomorrow. Should be there tomorrow afternoon sometime, maybe towards nighttime. Anyway, though, I'll see you guys all for day number two. It was fun bringing you guys along for the ride. Hopefully you come back and hang with us again tomorrow, as well as three nights of racing at the Lucas Oil Speedway for the Hockett Memorial. See you guys all in the next one. Should be a lot of fun. Deuces.